All right, have and have not fans. Now, I did a video about, you know, if you could sit down for five minutes with Tyler Perry, what would you ask him about? I felt, you know, pretty much driven to talk about another subject. If you could pick one have and have not character slash cast member to sit down and just talk with, go to dinner, whatever the case may be, who would it be? I feel like a majority of the fan base will say Veronica. I'm going to say Catherine Cryer or Renee Lawless. I'm not going to lie. I feel like she's the number one character on my top 10 character list for a reason. I'll say that much. But I feel like I would have the most fun talking with her. I mean, I, I don't know why. Don't get me wrong. I grew up watching In the Heat of the Night. So I'm aware of uh, Crystal Fox. And I love Knight Rider as a kid. I even had the complete series on DVD. And I know P uh, Peter Paros, uh, David, played in season three of that show. I feel like talking with David and hanging out would be fun, but it would be so weird for me because his voice in real life sounds nothing like the like the deep, gravely voice of um, David Harrington on the haves and the have-nots. It's pretty like, you know, um, not high-pitched, but, you know, more lively <laughs> and more, ex I guess you could say, he seems like he's more excited talking off the script. You know what I mean? Like, of course, he does David like he like nobody else could. But I just feel like, you know, I would feel not uncomfortable, but strange around him because he his demeanor is so different <laughs> than David Harrington. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I would say Renee Lawless would probably be the, my um, my um, go to for that. I feel like John Snyder, of course, would be awesome. I would love to see his uh, studio down in Louisiana just to hang out around his place. That would be awesome, too. But I feel like, you know, in terms of, like, um, being around, I think Catherine Cryer would be my go-to in that category. I feel like she has, like, um, I feel like she has a lot of stories to tell. You know what I mean? Not, not, not like, um, celebrity gossip, all that nonsense. But, I mean, like, I feel like I could learn a lot from her. I'm not saying that Angela Robinson couldn't do the same. Because I've seen her, um at different events giving speeches oh my god she's like claire huxable in real life i love that but i feel like you know if it came down to it it would definitely be um catherine crier uh just my personal opinion there renee lawless if you're watching this it'll be cool to meet you in, at some point in the future um honorable mentions and i'm not going to i mean there are obvious reasons why i couldn't say the people i really want to pick because I feel like it would be totally biased due to crushes. Um, Melissa, oh my God, I would love to meet her in person. Um, Amanda, but, you know, she's married, and I'm not hating. It's just like the fact that she's married to the guy that was one of the voices for Arnold back in the Hey Arnold cartoon. <sighs> I can't hate. It's like, you know what? You're a lucky man. You're a lucky man, Arnold. You're a lucky man. Uh, let's see. Oh, my God. Maggie Day. Yes. I've spoken with her a few times on social media. She is just wow. Jennifer. Yes. <laughs> Black don't crack. That's all I'm saying with that one. Erica. Well, she's going out with Mitch in real life. So I feel like he can crush me with one, you know, one bicep. And plus, he has the Malones on his team. So, no, no, no I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, so Catherine Cryer for me, people. Ladies and gentlemen, Catherine Cryer is my go-to. So, again, if there was one person on the show you could meet in person, who would it be and why? I mean, again, this is just fun discussion here. Not every video has to be a thought-provoking theory or, you know, episode review. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Who knows? Maybe your favorite cast member will reach out to you and say, hey, let's hang out. Renee Lawless, if you have a viewing party, let me know. That's all I'm saying. Okay, bye.